Hi everybody, this is Orlando Mergal with Puerto Rico by GPS. Your best resource for exploring Puerto Rico on your own, at your own pace, and with your GPS. Today, we continue our series of great Puerto Rican museums. Have you ever wondered what the purpose of a museum really is? Well, according to Wikipedia, the purpose of a museum is to collect, preserve, interpret, and display objects of artistic, cultural, or scientific significance for the public to study and learn from. In other words, museums are places where we go to learn something. <laughs> Operative word. This broad definition coincides perfectly with what you'll find in the Oxford English Dictionary and the Britannic Encyclopedia. Remember them? Today, we'll be visiting a museum in the Miramar area, in the Santurce neighborhood of San Juan where they've made it their mission to inspire through art and design with a strong belief that invention, innovation, and creativity are the driving forces behind social well-being. And why are we next to the Condado Lagoon, you might ask? Well, because Miramar is over there. So come on, let's go. If you're coming to Puerto Rico, you'll probably land in San Juan Airport. You'll probably want to visit Old San Juan and one or more of Puerto Rico's excellent beaches. But what will you do when you arrive in the old city? What will you visit? What'll you miss? And how about the beaches? How do you know which ones are the best and which you should avoid altogether? And more importantly, why? That's why I wrote the Old San Juan Walking Tour and Puerto Rico Beach by Beach, the ultimate guides to Puerto Rico's most beautiful city and most wonderful beaches. But I'm not going to tell you all about them now because that's not why you're here. Just visit the links on screen and find out all about them. The Miramar Museum of Art and Design, or Museo de Arte y Diseño de Miramar in Spanish, is located at 607 Cuevilla Street, a few steps away from the Puerto Rico Bar Association building. If you're coming from the San Juan, Condado, or Isla Verde area, just take State Road 26, get off at Exit 1, take Roberto H. Todd Street going south, turn right at the corner of Juan Ponce de Leon Avenue, and continue west until you reach the corner of Cuevilla Street. Turn left and you'll find the museum about half a block down on your left-hand side. At first glance, the early 20th century French neoclassical structure painted in bright pink seems rather small for a museum. To me, it resembles one of those old dollhouses that little girls used to have years ago. <laughs> but the glass and metal structure directly behind the house and an underground parking garage in the rear had more than enough space. We met with Mrs. Nadia de la Torre, Education Coordinator for the museum, who answered all of our questions and gave us a comprehensive tour. So this house was built in uh, 1913. It belonged to the judge uh, Luis Mendez Vaz and his wife Maria Bagur. After a trip they had made to Europe, they were uh, enchanted with the neoclassical French architecture, so they decided to build a house in that um, style. And they were a family of eight, and after a while one of his sons, Don Eduardo, kept the house. Um, and before he died, he, he created a trust uh, to, to, in the name of his, his parents to save the house. And in his testament, he left that he wanted the house to become a museum for the community of Miramar, which is where we are at in San Dulce. Unlike other museums in Puerto Rico that might be more theme-driven, this museum caters more to the interests of its immediate community. We have a, a slogan that we say, Man me para todos, Man me for everyone. And because it's a small museum and we are within the community of Miramar, we try to cater to to everyone. We have, a, we have um, very uh, 
we we are surrounded by preschools. We have a we have a school next door that goes from kinder to to uh, to senior year. Um, we have uh, two uh, housing for the elderly uh, at, at both sides of our museum. Um, so we really try to cater to everyone, and we make we make sure that our activities uh, do so. So we'll have. Uh, uh, storytelling, or we'll have uh, concerts in the afternoon, or we'll have theater showings, or we'll have workshops, um, we'll have a design fairs, a, a pop-up shops, and we're always trying to bring also uh, the community to meet the new artists and upcoming artists that we have in Puerto Rico. The rear portion of the building includes a glass encased area with a modern sculpture resembling park bleachers that also doubles as a presentation area. On the second level, there are multiple rooms with more modern art by Puerto Rican artists. One thing that I didn't realize, albeit living in Puerto Rico for the last 50 plus years, is that Puerto Rico has a vibrant industrial design community. In this era of IKEA and cookie cutter furniture, one would have thought that local design was dead. But Mrs. De La Torre was quick to set the record straight. There are a lot of uh, young upcoming artists doing uh, all different types of uh, design. Uh, furniture, furniture design, uh, recycling uh, old fences from, from classic houses. We have uh, artists uh, recycling tires to do, for example, necklaces and purses. We I could show you every detail about this museum, but then why would you need to visit? However, there's one piece that I must include because it goes straight to the museum's history. It's a sculpture by Puerto Rican artist Miguel Luciano, resembling a 1949 Studebaker pickup owned by Mr. Eduardo Mendez Bagur, son of the original owner of the property, Luis Mendez Vaz. Once again, this is not a restoration. Even the plantains and the machete in the truck bed are made out of fiberglass. As you leave the museum, don't forget to go by the gift shop, where you'll find genuine art made by Puerto Rican hands. There's nothing made in China here, and proceeds go to keep the museum running. You can spend hours at this museum, reminiscing as you go through all sorts of pieces from the 20th century. For more information about exhibits and museum hours, call 787-995-7063.